evening. I'm Erica Sargent. Rob is off this evening. We begin with a developing story. A mother hears shots in the Woodlawn neighborhood. Later, she learns those shots took her own son's life. CBS 2's Roseanne Tejas is live in Woodlawn at a vigil. Roseanne. Well, Erica, the vigil just ended and the group took off marching, but they had gathered right here at the very site where he was gunned down last night. Earlier today, though, we went by the family home where the grandmother had very strong words for whoever is responsible. Whoever did it, you need to turn yourself in. Her voice filled with sadness and anger. She wanted to address the shooter directly. It does not make you a man. It makes you an animal. Her grandson, Xavier Joy, shown here with his younger brother, was walking two blocks from home around 10 p.m. Thursday. That's when family says he told his girlfriend he was being approached. Police later found him laying in this parking lot on the 6200 block of Ingleside with multiple gunshot wounds. He died at the scene. And I'm still in disbelief. His family believes he was killed over his iPhone 7. As kids, we used to walk up and down this block all the time. So it's, like, it's not like he wasn't from around here. You know, so I just, I don't understand. The former Morehouse football player and high school tutor worked with disadvantaged youth. You took a vibrant, prosperous life who gave back to his family, gave back to his city. For what? Joy's father, Rod Joy, said in a statement, words cannot express the devastating pain and loss we are all feeling right now. Xavier was an incredibly creative, funny, and smart young man. We hope and pray for an end to the violence. Everybody out here who's shooting, turn away from this. It doesn't bring any peace. Police are saying little. We know they don't have any suspects, but we did notice some surveillance cameras in the neighborhood. And of course, the family's hopeful that they, they will be able to crack this case and find those responsible. They are especially heartbroken. Uh, Joy's 24th birthday would have been this coming Monday. Live in Woodlawn tonight, Roseanne Teas, CBS 2 News. Erica. Okay, Roseanne, thank you.